Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, not one I really wanted to make or thought I was going to have to make, but let me show you guys something. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. What I want you to do is look right here, where the axle goes into the hub. That, my friends, is a failed wheel hub bearing. Now what's really uh, not cool is that that's an American made one. Um, about 9,000 miles ago, I replaced both wheel bearings. Uh, my friend had a set of wheel bearings that he had had in his shop uh, in a box on a shelf that they never used. He has a CV axle shop and um, they were the exact wheel bearings that fit this truck. I can't remember what brand they were, but I do remember they're made in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it was definitely an off brand. So uh, <laughs> 9,000 miles later, um, here we are. So I thought that it was going to be I was hoping it was gonna be the ball joint, but the ball joint, both upper and lower and the tie rod ends, are tight as a drum after 20,000 miles. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna to have to remove this American made wheel bearing. And I think that that wheel bearing was from the early 90s, I think he said. But uh, obviously they don't make them in the United States anymore. Uh, parts like that, they're all made in China. So I'm gonna go back with an AC Delco Gold replacement. This is the exact same thing if I went into the Chevy dealership and uh, wanted a wheel bearing, this is exactly what they would give me. Um, it's the same thing that they would put on a, a vehicle, obviously, this being the 1989. Uh, it's far out of warranty, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the AC Delco Gold. And yeah, they're made in China, but so is everything. So hopefully they will last at least as long as the original ones did, which was almost, I think about 100 and, or almost 200. So anyway, enough whining, let's get to it. Remove the axle nut. This is a 36 millimeter. Lug nuts are seven eighths. I'm going to compress the brake pads just a slight bit. Just enough so I can uh, have a little extra leeway uh, when I pull the caliper off. Slide it back on. The caliper uh, bolt here and here. These are 3 8 hex. Look at that. This is why you put um, silicone lubricant for brakes on your slide pins. See how good a shape they're in? All right, so I'm gonna take the caliper off. And I'm gonna hang it up with a hook. Remove the rotor. The hub is held on by three 15 millimeter bolts. You can access them by lining up the holes in the hub. Make sure that your axle is able to slide. Last time I did this, um, I made sure to put some copper indices on there so it won't rust. Now all you have to do is just slide the hub out like this. 
copper anti-seize it's there a little bit of grease on the bearing or uh, the knuckle and here is the failed hub all right so here's the uh, ac delco hub i want to show you guys something listen to this And these are, I was looking, these are uh, Koyo bearings made in Japan, so. All right, so I went ahead and lubed up the area there with some copper anti-seize, never seize. On these bolts, just a little bit of blue. Now, before I torque this down, I'm going to go ahead and put my axle nut on here. Um, the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to draw the axle on fully into the splines before I torque it. Now, incidentally, this gets torqued to um, 173 foot-pounds, and unfortunately, my torque wrench only goes to 150, so we'll have to guesstimate it the last little bit. That is tight as a drum. Next, put the rotor back on. Take our caliper, Just slide that back on. Well, all that's left to do is to put the wheel on and uh, torque everything up. I'm going to make sure to torque this as close to 173 as I can get it, and then I'll show you the results. I was going to show you guys a little trick, but as you can hear, the garbage truck decided to stop in front of my house. But instead of having to try to lift the wheel up, if you've got big wheels and tires, um, especially if you've got a four-wheel drive truck that's got some su substantial feet to it, um, you can get this kind of in position and use a giant crowbar and just lever it up. That way you don't have to uh, try to lift it up with your back or your hands or whatever, sitting on your butt like some people do. All right, so when the wheel is touching the ground, I'll actually torque those. Uh, same thing with that, but listen. Nothing. Tight as a drum. So, um, I'm going to take this wheel bearing over to, uh, well, I can examine it a little bit better. And if I find anything weird, um, I'll let you guys know and show you. 